you have any cool questions in the chat before let's, I have to? Yeah, let's uh, let's look for some people here. Um, oh boy. Okay, so people are just saying thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, uh, people want to know your thoughts on the rumblings. There's lots of rumor mills going on with this the space calls, and I get messages like, "What do you think about this?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's all speculation." But um, lots of rumblings that that NextBridge will, that everyone will agree to temporary training trading uh, as closing positions um, with a forced AST afterwards with oversight from Congress and the court. Uh, what are your opinions on? such rumblings and rumors wait that that so i have not read any of the rumors i haven't <laughs> been on twitter like actively in several weeks like yeah. i said you know i've been busy. i was yeah. doing a pilgrimage and then i i moved like i told you houston and then i was at this trial like putting on a trial in gainesville and attending a conference and meeting with judges and stuff so and then i have my other cases and like tomorrow is probably going to be the longest day yeah for me to work in 2023 because i've it's been several several weeks yeah. now it's been about two months and i have cases with deadlines and i really have to get them out tomorrow yeah, yeah. a lot of it so, there was that one day i was at work until like 1 a.m and i just know tomorrow's gonna be like that so. <laughs> um, yeah it's it's definitely so, nuts but so, so people are saying, yeah go ahead and clarify yeah, um i mean i i don't really participate in space calls because there's just so many rumors and innuendo that it's just people like to set dates and none of that ever comes true but some big wigs, John Berta, uh, uh, Wes Christian, these guys, they've been chit chatting. And it looks, the rumor appears that there's a deal being structured between FINRA, the courts, and NextBridge that would require NextBridge basically be closeout positions only, get down to the 165 million shares or whatever. Uh, through a, a, a short period of trade, kind of, kind of what we're, what we're seeking for in the courts. Um, Why would they do that with Nextbridge? Exactly. That's 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 my thing. Why not MMTLP? Why yeah. would we? Why would we now make Nextbridge a publicly trading company when we've all agreed it's a privately trading, publicly reporting company yeah. that does not pay, intend to trade publicly? Why yeah. would you do that? Yeah, and that's 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 the pushback is that people are like, yeah, it's not happening. Um, it's not just that that's not happening. That yeah. I would, if it was, if I was a shareholder, yeah, right. If I got my shareholder certificates, God willing, right. Yeah. Someday, maybe in my life, I will receive my shares. <laughs> I would say, excuse me, I'd like to call a shareholder meeting. Don't effing do this. Yeah, yeah. Don't publicly trade. Don't put yourself on the publicly trading platform. Why would you do that? Yeah. Now you're subjecting us to being on the pub. Now, how do you get off? Exactly. That's that's been the argument from, from like William Morgan pointed out. I have said that the best thing to get is an order, a concise order from the court that says very specific things, such as, you know, give everybody the same QSIP. You're going to tell the broker dealers you've got two days to close every short position, to force close those positions. Sounds and, like uh, somebody read my preliminary injunction. <laughs> yeah, and 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 that when you when you have like the court specifically saying this is the order, this is what you have to follow. That's different than like some nebulous agreement between three different parties that don't necessarily include the shareholders in this. And, and there will definitely be NDAs, and it's yeah, yeah. And it, you know what? Here's the thing about what everybody needs to know about a company. A company has the CEO, right? Or your, and your officers and your yeah. directors you vote for your directors. The directors choose the officers and we own the company. Mm -hmm. They work for us. Yeah. They work for yeah. us. We don't like it. Yeah. You work for me. I elected you. I voted for you. Yeah. You vote, you're supposed to vote every, have, how many of you guys have said, Oh, you give your proxy votes to Robin hood, fidelity, whatever. Yeah. And you, you give them your proxy votes. Cause you don't want to show up to the shareholder meeting. Right? So, you vote in advance. We vote. Yeah. Okay. We are in charge. So no, I don't agree to this. And if it was me, if I could prove I was a shareholder, which I, I have not received my shares, right? But if I could prove I was a shareholder, I would tell NextBridge Hydrocarbons, I do not agree with this. So if this is what you're cooking up, yeah. just know that shareholders don't agree and we will sue you for fiduciary breach. Because that's what I would do. Don't make my company publicly trading when I disagree. Yeah. Not just that. I would just, there that, there's so many there's so many implications to that I just that would just doesn't sound like a good idea to me at all at yeah. all zero percent I I'm, I, mm -hmm. I I don't like it I, I want, I, want 
I, I want to cons- like it. Yeah, I want a court order. I want a court order to, to be very precise and to be for it to be an MMTLP and then yes. get just get rid of any short position, force close, uh, tell the broker dealers whatever the cost is. If, if you can't do it in two days, we're gonna fine you a million dollars a share for every share you can't close out. And so you just give that money to the bridge and let them do their drilling, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, why not? Um, so, yeah. So, we're, we're kind of on the same page on that one. I, I Okay. I think All that's right. a tremendous mistake, in my opinion. Yeah. Tremendously, no. Um, also, another thing. How can you call on shareholders when they can't be ascertained? How are you going to tell the shareholders, by the way, we're going to go public when you can't even take a vote or a roll call? Yeah. So, if you're doing things behind shareholders' backs when you know that there's an issue as to the shareholders, it's my opinion that that entire discussion or agreement that they come to is subject to being unwound Mm -hmm. because the shareholders who own the company cannot be ascertained due to these same instances. So you're going against their interest and they don't have the ability to, to voice their interest. Uh, no, to me, that's a big hell. No, 